Right, I'm blowing that to it's enjoying. It's now gone on 7 o'clock at night <laughs> on Saturday. Um, but it's fun and I'm loving it. This was like the world's most crazy jigsaw puzzle. Um, so now what I need to do is um, put a black outline on this. I'm not really sure which way around is best to do it, um, but I'm going to go black first and then um, try and use a fine line to go around the edge. I'm not sure that will work, but we'll see. special by adding um, just one coat of liquid gold from uh, Custom Paints Ink. laid down there is going to be for the black outline and you can see um, some reference points uh, at the bottom there and there's one at the top. That enables um, me to lay the further stencils so we have our white one there so everything there is going to be white and then I'm going to lay this one on last just over the last bit of the shoe because it's going to be pink and his little socks are going to be yellow. So I've masked around the stencil ready to paint my first colour which is black. Oh, I can see I've missed a bit of masking there. I'm now ready to paint the white part of mint. I'm just going to remove the tape where my reference points are. Make sure everything's pressed down nicely in the stencil. These paints dry really quickly um, with the airbrush because you're just literally dusting it on very lightly and it's solvent based so it's dry and ready for me to pop this on now. So I'm gonna line up the bottom reference point there It's a bit tricky because it's going around a bend, but hopefully this top one will be about right. It's not quite in the way. It's lucky it didn't stick. Okay, that's good. Everything's well stuck. Once again, mask off those reference points. I'm going to do his whole shoe even though part of it's pink and part of it's yellow because uh, the pink and the yellow rely on um, light base coat so white is ideal for that. Okay all masked ready for his little yellow socks so tiniest bit of yellow fluffed in there and last of all a little bit of pink on his boot. I have 
put the GT logo in place now with mint laying on top there, but I need to mask off this bit of him, otherwise he will be buried in the logo. So I have made a stencil like this, and I'm gonna use that to mask this part of his body. Good, it's a good place. Push it down, make sure it's nicely. I'm just gonna run my finger now very lightly on the edges here, just to ensure it's stuck right to the edge. Perfect, now I'm going to do the other side. these sheep on the paint is a little bit bumpy underneath so I need to make that area nice and flat ready for this purple colour to go on um, and that way we won't see any of these lines underneath so I'm going to get underway with that now. Now we're ready to flat the frame back make this area nice and smooth ready for the logos. I've put it on a towel this is so I don't uh, damage and scratch the frame. I have a bucket of soapy water and some 600 wet and dry sandpaper. <laughs> That's the frame flatted and lovely and smooth. I'm just going to run over any areas that I couldn't get to with the 600 wet and dry with a bit of grey scotch like around the cable holders and the bottom bracket. This will ensure that the lacquer will adhere on the final coat. Okay, so that's that all done. So now I have to remask it and get it good clean, ready for the final logos and any uh, additional little details. I also flattered back the rear end ready to put on this Mint Force logo. I've marked where I want to put it with some tape, so I've taken from this point here and put two bits of tape and I've done the same the other side so I get them in the same place. Uh, this first one is for a black outline and then I'm going to lay this one on top, lining up these points and I'm going to paint this one purple. of this Mint Sauce Fan Club um, membership card. Um, I found it online, thought it was quite fun and thought it'd be a nice little touch. Could keep going with this. There's so many details you could add, but I think uh, that's it. And I'm gonna hand it over to Ali, stick some lacquer on it, and then I 
can't wait to get it built up and ride it.